Hi, and welcome to Levon's Kitchen. Today, while we're in the kitchen, I wanna show you some of my spices and show you some essential spices that you need if you're cooking all the time um, that you would need in your cabinet. So, let's get to it. Okay, so this is my spice cabinet. I, I do a lot of cooking, so of course I'm going to have a lot more spices than you, okay? So let me show you what I have in my cabinet. Um, first of all, I have large containers because of course you guys know I shop at Sam's Club and Costco. So I cook in large quantities and I use a lot of spices. So chances are you probably won't need to get those very large sizes um, because your spices do have an expiration date on them. And if they expire, then you won't get the flavor that you want out of them. So you may still just get the regular sizes. I mean, not only do I just get large, but look at this. I get jumbo. So those are like gallons of, of that's gallon of black pepper, gallon of garlic, and things like that. You probably won't need those. But let's get started. I want to show you some, some what's in my cabinet. First, I've got my cumin. I've got my poultry gravy. I add that to a lot of things just to thicken up my gravy because a lot of times I do make my gravy from scratch. However, if I am not making it from scratch, or if I'm in a hurry, I can just use the poultry gravy because this one is pretty good. It's by McCormick. It's pretty good. I have my curry powder. I have my jerk seasoning. Of course, I have black pepper, chili powder, some Montreal steak seasoning, okay? Um, you know I put this on almost everything, so I have my Creole seasoning. Um, I actually have Creole seasoning somewhere else because I use a lot of Creole seasoning. So let me see, where is it? Some of these, I have seasonings behind these. Look at this onion powder, taco powder, lemon pepper. So you notice I put the black pepper, the lemon pepper behind it, the chili pepper, the taco seasoning together. So there's a method to my madness. So I've got some jerk seasoning behind there, some Cajun seasoning, my curry powder. I've got an extra curry powder back there. And there's another poultry gravy, but actually that's not even gravy. That's some fish grease. I use these large, and there's some regular grease. I use these for extra things other than just when the things are gone, when the seasoning is gone, throw it away. So I'll put my um, leftover grease in them. It's easier to put it in there if you're gonna use it again, or even if you're not gonna use it again, you could put it in there so that when you throw it in the trash, you don't have grease all over the place, okay? So let's see, uh, let's go up here. Uh, this is just some jelly, but I've got my crushed red pepper. I've got kosher salt, some regular salt, and then I have smoked paprika. The regular paprika doesn't have any flavor to it, so try and get smoked paprika if you're going to use it, or if you're just using it for decoration, then you can use the regular paprika, okay? I have some beef base, which is used for... Um, making like a beef stock. If you don't have beef stock, you can use this. Um, of course, I've got parsley, 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 and more parsley. <laughs> I use a lot of parsley, okay? Because I don't just use it for uh, taste. I use it for decoration as well. I have my sriracha sauce. And there's another one. You guys know I like my spicy stuff. So I have my sesame oil, my hoi sand sauce, and my browning seasoning. I put the browning seasoning in gravy and things. And not only does it make it brown, a darker brown, but it gives it a little flavor as well. Okay. Um, of course, I have my hot sauce up here. I've got some honey up here my cornstarch and peanut butter. I do put peanut butter in some things, okay? And up top, remember I've got my gallons. I have my garlic, my black pepper, and then there's some, um, that's some ranch dressing, some coconut oil, and some coffee. 
Uh, what else do we have? So let's start with some of the smaller seasonings. Um, we went through these. Okay, so I've got Creole seasoning, but I have another one somewhere I thought, did I pass it? But anyway, I have a lot of Creole seasoning because you know I put that in a lot of things. I have a couple of cinnamons in here. I have my nutmeg, basil, some Italian seasoning, some more Italian seasoning. I have some cayenne pepper, some sage, and then I have my extracts. I gotta get some more extracts because right now all I have is orange and vanilla. So I have to get some more extracts. There's a lot more seasonings that you can get, um, but these are the ones that I use all the time. If I'm cooking something special that requires a special ingredient, then I'll get that at that time. I just don't want to have a lot of seasonings and spices that I don't use all the time because I don't want them to expire on me. And that's a waste of money. You know, I'm all about saving money, which is why I buy um, in bulk. I buy the large quantities because you do save money that way. Um, so if you guys have some seasonings that you use that I don't have, let me know what you got and what you're using it for. And I might want to cook something with, that you've had. So anyway, I have a couple of other videos that are coming up real soon. I'm going to take you guys on a shopping trip. I'm going to actually take you to either Sam's Club or Costco and show you how I shop, some of the things that I get, tell you why I get what I get, um, and show you the prices and everything. Um, I've got another video where I may take you shopping to get some um, utensils for the kitchen. I'm gonna do a video to show you all of my utensils and cooking, things like that, but then I may need some more. So I may go on a little shopping trip and take you guys with me so that you can see um, the cooking utensils that I may need, okay? So that's gonna be it today. I'm not cooking anything. So if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And for everybody else, welcome back and guess what? I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Bye.